are many universal lessons that can be drawn from high-profile accidents, such as the Piper Alpha oil rig disaster and the King's Cross underground fire. However, perhaps the most important is an understanding that these, and just about every other workplace accident, were entirely preventable. How do we know this? Well, in these incidents, there were many early signs, or if you like, near misses, that warned of impending trouble. For example, before the King's Cross fire, fires on escalators had become an almost routine event. Most of the time, they were small and extinguished before serious damage occurred. On Piper Alpha, there had previously been a dangerous build-up of gas, very similar to the incident that eventually destroyed this oil rig. Maintenance fleet and we've got a trip on two of the centrifugal compressors, over. Research has shown that the vast majority of workplace accidents, however minor, follow this type of pattern, in which the actual event is preceded, very often, by a large number of near misses. Our organisation has already implemented an extensive process of risk assessment in order to prevent, systematically, accidents and ill health. These case studies show us that near-miss or incident reporting is a vital mechanism for monitoring how well our risk assessment process is working. As a manager of a fairly large group, there's about 200 people in my team, um, near-miss reporting is one of the key uh, tools that I use to manage safety and make sure that we're continuously improving. So it's, a, it's a very important process for us. This is a management issue and therefore when the, when the member of staff comes along with the near miss, the, the manager really should treat that responsibly. You know, thank the, the individual for reporting and properly investigate it. Near miss reporting helps us to check that we've identified all the hazards within our workplace and monitors proactively how our risk controls are performing. However, achieving an effective near-miss reporting system is not an easy task. A whole host of factors can easily scupper the process. And so, in this programme, we will examine the nature of near-miss reporting, its role in preventing accidents and ill health, and finally, what you as a safety representative, team leader or manager can do to make this process effective.